Assalamu alaikum, greetings, Alishan Mo here. How are you people? I hope you are happy, healthy, and safe. Check this out. In my hands, Radio Master has just released a all new ELRS 10 channel, compact, lightweight, laid back, relax radio controller, T8L. Let me unbox it right here on the camera and talk all about it so you know what it is and if it is for you the links are in description all right first off let me show you what comes inside the box and then we'll talk all about this radio controller so inside the box ta -da! check this out i think you weren't expecting it to be like this but hey no screen at all a simple reliable grab and go kind of radio for you to use and you can use it to fly rc airplanes fixed wings vtols drones helicopters you can drive rc cars and boats with this one as well 10 channel express lrs elrs easy to use and easy to set up radio controller now yes i know there's a question without the screen how do you do this stay with me on this video and i will show everything to you okay so this is the radio controller kind of like you know gaming controller like you know see this is my gaming controller right here so um which one is the radio <laughs> you can figure it out right so this is the gaming controller i use on my pc and playstation 4 to play uh you know dying like the beast and other games and this is uh, kind of the similar you know gaming type of controller okay so that was the radio controller and inside the box you have a user manual okay you have a usb cable and uh what is this uh, some springs little, little springs and a qc sticker and stickers uh, standard stickers from radio master so starting with the ergonomics on t8l in my hands small hands it fits really nicely by the way if you're wondering where are the sticks the sticks are right here on the back so it is very very easy to you know even put it in your pocket and carry it uh, easily for transportation it is really really nice and easy you can even chuck it into a small boxes after removing the sticks so your gimbals will not be affected so yes now after the sticks are installed talking about the ergonomics it's really nice and i can have full movement on the stick and all the control i want with the t8l however this is really really straightforward and honest we are all used to radios like this tx 16s tx 15 full-size big radios so when you switch to radios like these tiny ones little ones you will have uh some hard and difficult time to get used to these radios when it comes to the gimbals the sticks it is running x5 hall effect nano gimbals is standard you have options to upgrade to ag01 nano which is available but i would say this is more than enough they feel very nice you know and they will offer a very precise control the radio has an integrated 2.4 GSZ ELRS module with fast refresh rate and ultra low latency. Next on the front side, you have on off button, you have mode button right here, okay? And you have two five-way trimmers. They are actually trimmers, five-way trimmers. So you can move them left, right, up, down and you can also click them so they are like kind of tiny joystick right here after that you have four leds here for the system status and uh, battery levels of the radio now we're talking about the batteries they are installed inside right here so i will remove this and you can see i will reveal the batteries now uh, do remember that this is a review unit and it came with the battery for the purpose of the review but when you order this radio you will not receive the batteries okay so let me just pull the batteries out so i can remove these stickers and power on the radio okay batteries are installed now let's come to the top of the radio on top of the radio um so if you're holding it like this this is your left side okay so you have uh s a switch right here which is kind of a momentary switch okay then our most favorite son of a bit <laughs> switch sb is basically a three position one okay so you can see click center down so it's a clicker type three position okay and then you have sc also three position clicker 
we have a USB-C port right here. Then we have SD, also a momentary clicker, all right? And we have latching SE, okay? And a dial right here. Now binding the receiver is very easy. Without web UI, you can do it. What you need to do is a standard thing. Use your ELRS, ELRS receiver and power it on and off three times, and it will be in bind mode. And after that, you press the mode button for a second, and radio will bind to the receiver. So without web UI, you can also bind it to your receivers very, very easily. Now, if I press and hold this button, Radio is on, two beeps, I have full batteries, and you can see when I push the trim, I hear the beeps and the light turns on. Nice. And if you want to reset the trims, you just press and hold it down, you hear a beep and your trims will be reset instantly nice neat little radio i think what i would really love to check with this one or test this is with the flight simulator and see how well it feels to practice on flight simulators with this radio all right now let's connect the radio to the computer and let me show you the web ui and we'll see what it is uh, how easy it is to use and um, you know what we can configure on that web ui all right so welcome to my seat and uh, you are also watching the um, website that you can use to connect now uh before you connect you need to have a chromium based uh, browser that is google chrome uh, edge or opera these browsers can connect uh, to your radio master t8l okay next do this go to this website uh, radiomaster-rc.github.io slash rm-web-page slash connection.html I left the link in video description so go to this website okay now once you are here you can see that we have device channels RF setting calibration firmware update but nothing is working because first thing first you have to connect the radio to the um, you know computer so in order to connect the radio to the computer if you directly plug your usb cable and plug it to the computer nothing will happen you will keep getting error message like this so you will find only one communication port and you will say connect and it will give you connection failed message so you will keep getting this error and you will be pulling your hair what you need to do is press the mode button and hold it okay and then press the power button this will put the radio in usb connection mode all right as the usb is connected to my computer i'm gonna plug it here in the radio all right and now when we go to when we go to uh, our website okay we will say connect and bam right there you have radio master t8l com4 paired all right so click on it connect and there you have now here in the first uh, tab device you have factory reset or exit firmware update then you have key mode settings what you want your s switch sa to do single or double click what do you want what is your switch son of a bit <laughs> switch sb three position or two position sc three position or two position uh, sd which is momentary you want click single or double click okay and se is two position latching switch now down here you can set up the volume for your radio controller beeps okay s1 mid-tone 4000 um, you can switch it up or down okay as you like so you can hear it Ah, I like this one okay 289 I like this one all right receiver loss warning you can toggle it on off low power warning toggle it on off trim reset function you can click it on or off okay serial number uh, express LRS firmware number uh, version is here device firmware version is here radio control is radio master t8l vendor is radio master and devices radio master t8l all right so this was device this is what you could do in device then you go to the channels and here if you move your sticks you can see the bars are moving so channel one okay channel two 
channel 3, channel 4, um, and you can also see your switches. This is our switch, son of a, uh, sorry, SB, okay, channel 6. So everything you can see right here how they are working and their uh, PWM rates on the right side, you can also see them. So this is channel monitor. Then you can come to the channel settings. You can uh, change normal or uh, reverse. So here's you can do the reversing. And after that, you can click save or you can restore your settings, okay? And you can also uh, set negative and positive treble, treble here. Next, we have channel mapping here. You can actually map your channels. So each channel, man, you have a lot of, lot of uh, you know, open world right here. So you can map your channels the way you want. Uh, what do you want on channel one, two, three, four? And you can map them all here okay after that we have a trim and sub trim so you can set trims and sub trims here or you can clear them out and you can also set your radio mode mode one or mode two it is just that easy to switch from here so if somebody asks hey how do you switch the modes on radio master t8l radio controller you know from mode one to mode two very easy <clears throat> connect your device to the um, you know web UI go to channels go to mode and here you have mode m1 m2 m3 m4 all the modes are here click on the mode you want and bam you are done setting up the mode okay after that you have RF settings refresh TX uh, so just read the instructions right here then we have calibrations in the calibrations you can start the calibration and calibrate the sticks so you can see that when I'm moving the sticks yeah, you know, this little funny kind of uh, uh, graphics is moving here. All right. Look at that. Okay. And if I press a button uh, and uh, switch, you can see they are moving right there. Uh, respectively, here is the dial. As you can see, dial center has a beep. Okay, so what you can do is start calibration and then calibrate the sticks and calibrate all the, uh, you know, switches and that dial as well, which is nice and super easy right here. You can also reset the calibration. Next, you have firmware update. Okay, so you can select your controller and start firmware update. I'm not going to update the firmware. For me, I have realized in my experience, don't update the firmware of the devices unless you know you really need it. If your device is working right, do not update the firmware and be happy with it. Have fun, stay subscribed, stay tuned, and don't forget to comment on this video and let me know what do you think about T8L. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.